Putin envisions Russia abandoning no first use nuclear doctrine. Russian President Vladimir Putin has said for the second time this week that Russia may formally change its military doctrine of not using nuclear weapons first in a conflict, days after he was warned that the threat of nuclear weapons was growing. Raised to nuclear war. They, U.S., have it in the strategy and it is in the document, preemptive strike. We are not. Said at a press conference in Bishkek. Seeing that a nuclear missile was launched at Russia, Putin said that even if Russia had to retaliate immediately, it is necessary to prevent the warheads of enemy missiles from falling on the territory of the Russian Federation. It will still fall. Putin said U.S. policy does not rule out the possibility of disarming a nuclear attack and that Russia's principle is to use nuclear weapons as a last resort. So when you talk about this disarmament strike, consider adopting the best practices of your U.S. partners and their ideas to keep them safe. We are thinking about it now. In the past and now, no one has been shy when talking about it out loud, he said. Even if a potential adversary thinks they can use the first strike theory and we don't, it makes us think about the threat we face," he added. Biden administration officials have previously said Moscow received high-level warnings about the consequences of using nuclear weapons in a war. On Wednesday, Putin warned that the threat of nuclear war was growing, but failed to promise that Russia would not be the first country to resort to nuclear weapons in a conflict. As for the idea that Russia would not use such weapons first under any circumstances, that would mean that it could be used in the event of an attack and could not be used second either. Our territory will be very limited, he said on Wednesday. It was issued as the war entered winter in the face of it. On Monday, Russia unleashed a new wave of drone and missile attacks against energy infrastructure across Ukraine. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said the strike had caused widespread blackouts in several regions, including Kiev and Odessa. Russia said this week that it has been the target of multiple drone strikes targeting military infrastructure, officials said. The Russian Defense Ministry has blamed Ukraine for the attack, but Ukraine has yet to publicly comment on the blast.